Please welcome the lovely Shannon Woodward, everybody. Shannon Woodward. Now listen, uh, first of all, I owe you an apology because you were meant to be on the same night as Larry King was here. That's true. And Larry uh, took over the show, basically, and, uh, and apparently didn't book you as a guest, so I'm terribly sorry. It's okay, I'll take it up with King. Yeah, yeah, take it up with him. Uh, anyway, I, I'm glad you managed to come back for this night. Um, <laughs> It's lovely to see you, and you look lovely too. That's oh, thank lovely. You. That is that some kind of tweedy material? I believe it's tweed. Wow, a tweed kind of wrap dress. I guess so. Sexy. Thank you. Thank you very much. Doesn't it itch though? A little bit. Well, take it off. Okay. Ah, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, did, did we, you worked on the Drew Carey show, apparently. I, you know, it was actually it was my first job in LA. I mean, I, I had literally one line, and me I, too. Most I, episodes. I think, you, I think yeah. you walked by me in the scene. Really? That's yeah. You must have been terribly young. I mean, oh. I, I think I was like 15. Yeah. And I probably that's why about I just six, kept so. going, you know. Like, Fair enough. That's, yeah, that's, well, that's the right that's the right thing to do. The most legal thing to do. Absolutely. Yeah, so, uh, what age, oh no, I can't ask you what okay. age you are now. That'd be ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, let me just work it out. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, how are things on the uh, Raising Hope then? It's good. Yeah, do you play a policewoman? Uh, do, I don't play a policewoman. I work Ever? At, no, no, not ne yet. You've never played a policewoman? No. Just check it. I don't, I don't think I'm very authoritative. You're very authoritative in that scene. That was good. You oh. were saying things about the five second rule. Thank and, you, yeah, yeah. And then the Howie Mandel thing about germs? That's true. Oh, that's true. No, yeah. No shaking. The, you, he does the, yeah, he does that. Have you met Howie? No, I've just seen Deal or No Deal, and there's oh. a lot of pounding that goes on. <laughs> Thanks, Jeff. Yeah. Thank you. No, uh, you enjoy the quiz shows then? I enjoy them from time to time. Have you ever accident. won a large sum of money unexpectedly? Or perhaps inherited it from a dead relative you didn't know about? No. Have you? No, but I think it would be a great plot for a movie. <laughs> I think there's 625 movies about that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Brewster's Probably Millions a is a good one. What's that? Brewster's Millions. Brewster's Millions, yeah. Movie. What's that again? It's a movie that involves money. I I haven't seen it in years. You can't ask me to summarize a plot of a movie I haven't seen in years. So, Brewster's Millions, then. Remind me, what's that about? Jeff, you gonna help me out here? No, no, no he never, no, he would not never do that. He would never uh, help. <laughs> in any way. That's just the way I'm programmed. Yeah. Well, I guess now I know who my friends are. No, well, your friend is not a robot. Do you have any robot appliances? Uh, I have a water boiler. It boils water automatically. I think that's, that's amazing. That's a kettle. That's called a kettle. Yeah, but see, in the UK, you guys, you, this was a really exciting invention for me. I had no idea this existed until about two weeks ago. We've had boiled water in America since the founding fathers. What, the one where you just press the button and it boils in several seconds? That, that's not a real thing. No, it does. It's like five seconds. You're making that up. I'm not. I would never, never make anything up about a, a water kettle. It's just rude. You, you press a button and the water's ready in five seconds, it's boiled? It's more like eight seconds. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But it's but less it's, than ten seconds. I'd, yes, it's warm enough for tea in ten seconds. Wait a minute, warm enough for tea isn't boiled. Somebody's got to back me up here. <laughs> I don't think that's a real thing. Where are you from? Mostly South Florida. Mostly? We moved around a lot. I was are you a gypsy? <laughs> No, but I did used to play one on another television show. Did you really? Yeah. It's a Can gypsy you play the violin? I did when I was a kid. Ah, uh -huh. you are a gypsy. <laughs> you moved. Let's look at the evidence. You moved around a lot. You play the violin. Gypsy. How do you know so much about gypsies? I know a lot about gypsies, for I am also one of the traveling folk. A pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, secret handshake. Best what part of South Florida? Boca Raton. Oh, I like Boca Raton. It's very yeah. close to Delray Beach. I love Delray it Beach. It is. Yeah, it's the exit, Boca Raton. It's the same exit, yeah, almost. Same, yeah, 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 yeah. The same exit. But right, it's, yeah. and uh, Delray Beach, have you ever been to the uh, uh, Cafe Dada in Delray Beach? No. Nope. It's awesome. Go on a Tuesday night, they have the Lesbian Poetry Slam. Really? Yeah. How often do you attend that? Uh, as often as I can. Right. It really annoys the poetic lesbians, but I go anyway. They find you annoying? Well, the, the, to be honest, when I've been there, the, the poetry lesbians seem to find most things annoying. Okay. I, well, I'll have to go, and then I'll get back to you about it. I mean, I've never been. Just a good cafe. Okay. Yeah. I trust you. Do you enjoy omelets? I'm not against them. <laughs> They're not my favorite. 
I mean, you're not. You, how could anyone be against an omelette? Like I, a, I don't know. Well, I mean, how, I mean. I, who I, hates omelettes? Al Qaeda. I'm sure and who that, else? I'm sure there must be someone here that hates omelettes. No, someone, no, no. These, that, this is the, this is the omelette loving society of America on a coach party. <laughs> do you ever uh, get hungry at night and you think, oh, I'm excited for my breakfast? I do, actually. Uh, really? I yeah. thought that only happened as you got older. <laughs> Does that thing? I'm like, well, breakfast tomorrow. I'm 74. So. You're 74? Yeah. You are a gypsy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Like me and the kid from Two and a Half Men were. Uh... Oh, yeah, he's got that Benjamin Button thing. <laughs> yeah. I, I said that on a show some time I ago. I heard of, uh, about a week or two ago. Yeah. It was a good episode. Good or side. it could have been as early as last night. I don't really know. <laughs> time flies. Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> so, Boca Raton, what'd you do there then? Miniature golf? <laughs> There was some miniature golf. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we went to the movies a lot. There's a, there's a lot of retirement homes. Have you ever been to Boca? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Those retirement homes, the movies, the miniature That's golf. That's really it. I mean, yeah, and, I a, and beautiful beaches. But, you know, mostly went to school. Started acting when I was a kid there. Did you really? I did a little What little was your plays. first acting? I was, uh, I was on a show called Clarissa Explains It All when I was, like, seven years old, which was my favorite show as a kid. I don't know if... Maybe I'm dating myself. I don't know. No, I already worked that out. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's so, true. So, were, were you Clarissa? No, no, I was like a child. I just, I was in a school play when I was a kid, and, or not a school play, a local play. Right. And somebody from the casting agency from Nickelodeon came and saw and thought I was out of my mind, which was true. I was like really spastic. And they asked me to come audition for a part on the show. And, and you got it? I got it. And, and then, have you never done a day of school work since? <laughs> no, I did, I did do a lot of school work. I was, I was decent at school. That's yeah. all I did in Boca, really, was go to school. Go to school and act? Yeah. And, and observe the elderly at the Do movie ever, theater. There's a lot of... Uh, <laughs> so you're probably really good at playing an old person. Maybe. I'd never thought about it. Oh, you've observed it. That's what actors do. There's plenty of time <laughs> to play... Uh, Cloris there's Leachman's less on our time show. than you think. I'm surprised to tell you. <laughs> really? Yeah. A minute ago I was young, and now... <laughs> this is getting existential. I'm telling you, it happens really fast. When you get old, you're like, you know when you're a kid and you think, oh no, I've got double math, and then you think, this is never going to end, double math, and then it ends, and you go, it's like it never happened. That's like life. That's true. I personally remember nothing about math. It seems like it was yesterday, and yet I can hardly add anymore. I don't even know where my pants are. <laughs> which is not mathematically could be important. A, that could be a problem in general, not having pants. Yeah, not in CBS. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're out of time. I, I don't mean, you know, as people. I, I hope we have many years ahead of us. Oh, my God. You're going to give me a panic attack about this time. I saw the, the horror on your face. You were like, oh, my God. About it. It, he's lured me into his basement. He's a serial killer. No, no. This is a basement? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it rubs the lotion on its skin in here. Yeah. 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 Or it gets the hose again. The hose again yeah, in, yeah. in the hole. I remember that, yeah. Yeah. Did you like that movie? That's a creepy ass movie. It isn't kind of it? freaked me out a yeah, little bit. Yeah. Put the lotion in the basket. <laughs> Put the lotion on the basket. Put the lotion in the basket or it gets oh. the hose again. Yeah. Oh, I think I was a little young when I saw it. So I was pretty traumatized. What age were you? I don't know, probably like eight or nine. You saw Silence of the Lamps when you were eight? Well, I used to. I used to sneak to watch HBO, and I thought I, I wasn't sure what my parents were hiding in there, and it turned out it was terror. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, listen, we're out of time. Um, so, uh, mouth organ or awkward pause? <laughs> my choice has been made. I see. <laughs> It's a beautiful basement. Put the lotion in the basket. This was fun, yeah. For some. You're we're against done. it? No, no, I'm not against fun. Okay. But uh, we're out of time. All right. Not as people, but as... Panic attack. About, about the We're time. caught in some kind of joke warp. I know. <laughs> probably my fault. Sorry. Oh! Can we meet the horse? Yeah, you want to see the horse? I want to meet the horse. Mm -hmm. okay. oh, all right, then. And then we're done. Okay. All right. Who's that at the door? It's
I'll be back in uh, eight months. Uh, <laughs> can never get rid of him, can you? <laughs>